to Science Excel, where our motto is to enhance the learning curve. In today's tutorial, let's start with asexual reproduction in multicellular organisms. The existence and propagation of all life on our planet is related to the ability of organisms to reproduce. Each individual organism exists as the result of reproduction. The methods of reproduction can be identified into two main types, sexual and asexual. So what is asexual reproduction? Asexual reproduction is the formation of genetically identical offspring from the cell of a single parent. The previous tutorial dealt with asexual reproduction in unicellular organisms. Now let's explore the different types of asexual reproduction in multicellular organisms. Asexual reproduction in multicellular organisms are of five types. Fragmentation, budding, regeneration, spore formation and vegetative propagation. Now let's understand each type in detail. In this type of reproduction, the body of the parent organism breaks up into many small fragments. Each fragment grows and develops into a mature organism. Typical examples are spirogyra and sponges like cycon. In case of hydra, the parent organism develops a bud as an outgrowth due to repeated cell division at one specific site on its body. These buds remain attached to the parent body and develops into tiny individuals. Once fully mature, they break off from the parent body to become new independent individuals. Regeneration is a process in which the organism is capable of regrowing certain parts of the body or forming a new organism from the disjointed part. Let's take an example of planaria. If the structure of the organism is cut or fragmented, the piece that has detached from the parent grows into an independent, complete organism. We have a classic example of spore formation in bread mold or rhizopus. The sporangia present at the top of the thread-like structures called hyphae have sacs filled with spores. When these sporangia burst, spores get scattered in the air. Under suitable conditions, these spores develop into a new plant. This form of reproduction takes place with the help of vegetative parts of the plant like the root, stem, leaf and bud. Let's understand the reproductive process involving each of these parts. Roots like carrot, beetroot are also known as modified roots or tubers. These tubers propagate in the soil. The buds on the root grow as leafy shoots above the ground which gives rise to a new plant. The potato is a modified stem that bears vegetative buds called the eye. New plants grow from these buds. Another example is ginger, which is again a modified stem that bears axillary buds from which new plants grow. Leaves of some plants like bryophyllum produce buds on the leaf margins. When such leaves fall in moist soil, the buds present in the leaf margin begin to grow and form young plants. We encourage you to explore the summary created as a brain-friendly mind map which provides a quick insight into what we have learned. The following assessment is the key to gauge what we have imbibed. Kudos to you if you have managed to answer all. If not, revisiting the tutorial will help reinforce concepts. Thanks for watching. If you find the content of the video useful, please like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to receive updates on new videos.